Welcome to another Scribus tutorial. In this video, I want to quickly talk about pages, adding pages, removing pages, and getting our document set up correctly from the beginning. So really important to learn. Shouldn't take that long to go through it. But to get started, let's go to File and go to New. And we have this, uh, these options we're presented with. In previous tutorials, we just hit OK, and it just brings up one single page. And so that's because if I go to File, New again, so we told it to do single page, we told it to make that page 8.5 by 11 inches and to have the orientation be portrait as opposed to landscape. So it's tall, wise, horizontal, and then, uh, or vertical, I guess you could say. And then uh, we told it how to set up our margins and our bleed. That's basically it. And we said how many pages? One page. And that's why it gave us this. One page, that's it. If we want to add another page, we can go to Page and go to Insert. And we can say Insert 1 page at end and hey say okay what that's going to do is put another page at the end of our document so now we have two pages and if we go to insert or if we go to page insert again we can say insert one page at end okay great now we have three pages just kind of end to end because our document is sing is set up for single page so if we were creating a book we probably don't want three pages we we i mean we don't want single pages we want, if we're doing a book, we want a page on the left and a page on the right. Because with a book, your margins are different on the inside because of the way the binding works. So it's kind of set up differently. So this is not a book. This is just, we just did three pages here. Let's see what a book would look like. So we can leave this document up right now. We can go to File, New. And instead of doing a single page layout, we can do a facing page, facing pages layout. And so this, we have our document bleed. We won't touch uh, anything here with the bleed and the margin, I mean. But the size of the book, maybe we want it to be, maybe it's going to be 8.5 by 11. We're going to print it and put it in like a, a three-ring three ring binder. So that's fine. The number of pages, we just say, sure, one page is fine. First page is right page or left page. If we say left page, it'll look just like this. If we say right page, this left page will be blank and the first page will start on the right. So let's just say that, just for example, I'll just show you that. And let's say we want our, our book to be a total of five pages long. So we click OK. It creates a new document. So now we have two different documents. This is document two. Our other document is still there. If we minimize, we can see our, our, our other document is still right here with the three pages like this. But if we minimize this, we can open up our documents right down here. I believe this is our book that we just created. So our first page is on the right-hand side, and then we have our two pages. So we have page one, page two, page three, page four, and page five. So we've got a nice little book here, and maybe this will be, this is actually like if you're imagining a book, so this is not the cover of the book. When you open the cover, the back of the cover is over here on the left, like the hard cover or the soft cover, whatever it is, then this is the first printed page. It's like welcome or whatever, or table of contents, whatever we want this page to be. And then we have different pages here. So that is the page pages. Maybe we want to get rid of this last page right here, page five. <clears throat> to do that, we just go page, delete. <clears throat> and it says delete from page one to page one. We just want to say from page five to page five. That'll delete page five. We hit OK. Now page five goes away. So if we scroll down, we see page five is gone. If we want to add in another page, we go page, insert. We want to insert one page at the end. Yeah, sure. Or we can say after page four. And what do we, what do we want it to be? Well, we're going to learn about master pages later. But we'll just say OK. And so it appears here. So now we have our page. If we want to add in, maybe we want 15 pages. We can go to page, insert. And we want to insert 10 more pages at the end of the book. Okay, now we go down, now we have a 15 page book because we had five, we added 10 more pages. Now we have a big book project here. And then we can do the same thing that we've learned about. We can create a text box and add text. We can create uh, an, image, an image frame and add an image into here. And we can just start going with our book. But I just wanted to show you that's how we do um, kind of page control within uh, Scribus. And then also, if we look down at the bottom, it tells us what page we're on. 
So there's a kind of a red outline. I don't know if you can see it on this video, but whatever page you're clicked on kind of becomes highlighted a little bit. And we can see this is page two. I can go forward to the next page and just keep going forward to each page. I can go back to the very first page. If I click this button, if I click this button, it goes to the very last page of the book. So we can control that way. And I can actually go to this drop down and just hurry quickly go to page 10 or 11, go to a certain page right away. So that's kind of how that works too. And we can zoom out here as well. And just see our whole book like this if we want to get a open, quick overview of what the book looks like. Yeah, but that's it. And then I'll show too, since I haven't touched on it very much, I'll show how to save our project. So if we want to save this and work on it later, this 15 page book, we just go to file and we go to save. And I'll just save this on my desktop and I'll call it mybook.sla. So the type of file it is is a, is a .sla and that's a Scribus document. So then we can see we have this on my desktop called my book. So if I were to close out of Scribus and just discard all the changes and I can open this file just by clicking on it and it opens up in Scribus and then my book is all right here. And I can also go to file, open, and then just find it that way too. So we go to the desktop and we see my book SLA and we can open it up in here as well. So yeah, that's saving and reopening. And then at any time when, if we make some changes and we draw say some, a shape on here, we wanna save it, we just click save and it'll save the changes. Pretty standard with using any other kind of software. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna show you in this video, just managing pages. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. Go ahead and comment, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.